Okay, now we're ready to flash our router with DDWRT firmware. And before we start, um, I want to warn you guys that it is possible that you brick your router in doing this. Um, and the other warning is if you do upgrade your firmware, you might void your warranty. So keep that in mind before you do this. If you're not up for the challenge, let's go to um, let's go to the router link again, and we provide here a link to eBay. Um, I think with the keyword DDWTE Mega. So this is going to list all the current routers for sale that have the DDWRT Mega ver um, Mega version installed. So that might be the way to go. Okay, so if you've watched all the other videos, we're pretty much ready to flash our router, which means we have a free DotSpot account. We've found out if our router is compatible, and we've downloaded the correct version of DDWRT. And we've been warned that we can possibly break this router. So the next thing we have to do is network our computer to our router and access the current interface that your router has. Okay, so let me show you my router. Here's the front of my router. Here's the back of my router. And here's my computer's Ethernet port. Now I'm going to take an Ethernet cable and I'm going to connect one end of it to my computer and the other end of it into one of the LAN ports in the back of my router. So once you make this connection and turn your router on, then you will be able to access your router's interface through your web browser. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Sometimes when you, connect, when you network your router to your computer, you'll lose your internet connection. If you're on a Wi-Fi connection or even a network connection, Ethernet, you might lose it. So keep that in mind. And once you unplug it, you'll get your internet back. Um, so to access this interface, type, go to the address bar and type in 192.168.1.1. Now your router might be different, but this is the most common IP address to access routers interfaces. Um, this is the one I need for Linksys and yours might be different. It will be in the manual for your particular router, but I would try this. It's a good chance that this is the right one. So I'm going to access it now. As you see, um, authentication is required. And for this model, the default is root and password is admin. Might be different from yours. You can change this too. Okay, so this is the default firmware uh, for Linksys. And to upgrade, we need to go to the administration link. It's right here. And firmware upgrade is right here. Go ahead and choose the file that we downloaded from DDWRT's website. And go ahead and upgrade. Now, if you do mess up this procedure, um, there is a way to restore the factory defaults. And I can explain that later. I'll actually post that on the website on the router link for you. Upgrade is successful. Let's press the continue button, see what happens. Okay, and so what happens here is basically um, it restarted. So I'm going to refresh the page and, and you'll see that it was successful. We're going to log into the DDWRT interface right now. It just lost the connection. So again, we have authentication. And here we go. And there you have it. The DDWRT firmware is now successfully installed. Um, and let me show you where Chili Spot is. You go to services, you go to hotspot, and if you 
Well, as you can see, I don't have it right here because I installed the mini version. Now, if you had the mega version or the standard version installed, you would have it here. So now what I need to do, I need to continue with my second part of the installation so I get these features um, under this tab so I can set up my hotspot. So I'm going to go to the administration tab. I'm going to go to firmware upgrade and I'm going to get the file, the standard version that I downloaded earlier and I'm going to continue my upgrade. And upgrade is successful. We're going to let the unit reboot and um, continue our setup process. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Up here you can see version 24 standard was uploaded. Let's go to the services tab, hotspot, and here we go, chili spot right here. Let's look at it. Yep, this is everything we need um, to get ready to get connected to dot spot. Okay, so we successfully did this and we will continue